All right, you guys, this is now part two of camming the L98 C4 Corvette. We got Nick joining us in the house, as promised. As you guys can see, we got the uh, the runners off, the TPIs off, um, the valve covers are off. And next, we have to um, get the car to top dead center. So you got to rotate that big pulley down there counterclockwise. Yep. Um, and try to get cylinder one to top dead center. Um, so that's what we got to do next. And then after that, uh, we can pull the headers off and then get the heads off. But so this is kind of our little, uh, excuse me, Nick, some parts that we got off here, guys. We got the um, fuel rails, you know what I'm saying? Valve covers, runners, uh, TPI intake right there. Um, just some other miscellaneous parts, as you guys saw. But we got everything labeled and we're praying that when we're done, it will go back together. So <laughs> we'll get uh, another update for you guys shortly. All right, you guys, so the car should be at top dead center. Now, if you take a look, this is kind of how you gauge, and I don't know if the camera will pick it up, but it's right, that line is right at zero. Um, I think you guys could see that. So we rotated the motor at top dead center, and uh, you can also tell because these valve springs right here um, are a little bit higher than the rest, so this is cylinder one. And then when you take the distributor cap off, um, it should be pointing towards this, uh, this is cylinder one as well. So that should be pointing towards there. Um, and if all that checks out, then we're pretty much good to go um, for the rest of this build. So hopefully this is a really important step. So we're just going to double check everything and make sure it's all good. You know what I'm saying, Nick? Absolutely. Heck yeah, brother. Absolutely. All right, you guys, so we're out here the next day. As you guys can see, we got the intake off. Um, so now Nick's breaking loose the, the headers. So we're going to try to pull the headers off um, and then hopefully get the heads out. Um, so we we'll should... Uh, we should get that done today, hopefully, and then uh, we'll get uh, we'll get back to you with another update. But she's coming along. We'll be jacking the motor soon here, boys, and uh, ready to put that cam in. All right, you guys. So we made some mondo progress today, and but I'd buy. I mean, we it's mainly Nick, the big body out here. But uh, so we got the the, uh, the driver's side head off. This is what it looks like, and it actually turns out we have a head gasket leak um, in the corner right here. There's a bunch of antifreeze, um, and I'll show you guys that, which is not good. But so we got the first. Uh, head off. Let's come over and take a look um, So this is what the engine looks like with the head off you guys can see that's what we're talking about the top dead center How the piston is like right at the top there cylinder one. Um, yeah, you guys can see all the antifreeze in there That's definitely not supposed to be in there. So I guess it's kind of good that we took the heads off um, So now we're just gonna kind of struggle with the other side because the header um, Is gonna be a pain to get out, but uh, you know, we're getting closer um, so we do have a head gasket leak, so we'll replace that. We've got all the gaskets. Um, then we're going to be going for the cam. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, Nick, honestly, got to give it to the man. <laughs> Big body out here did all the work, broke all the bolts loose. And, uh, shout out to shout, Yeah, but honestly, where is that at? This is this stuff, guys, right here. Hold on. Oh, look, antifreeze. Where is that stuff? Not sponsored. Not this <laughs> stuff. <laughs> this stuff is awesome. Oh my god, yeah. We, we sprayed this on the header bolts and like literally one-handed Nick got it off. They came off nice and with uh, and it wasn't even like a crazy uh ratchet or anything or but uh so yeah guys we're slowly but surely making progress. This side um is the next come off. This is the header right here. And uh so we just gotta figure out how to get this guy um how to get this guy out. Um and then we're gonna be hopefully, you know, done with the heads, put them all back together, and then we're gonna be going for the water pump and jacking up the motor and getting the uh the timing chain out of the way and getting to the cam and then throwing her back together so we're almost there guys not really but yeah kind of all right you guys just like that about an hour later we got the second head off and by we meaning you know nick with his big body muscles look at them look at these things oh my god look at the cannons all right anyway so uh this is your your little shorty block here you know what i'm saying you got the uh you know cylinders what is that two four six and eight on the side and then one three five seven on that side right i think so something like that yeah we marked them but um you know we still had the ac unit all connected here we just kind of you know maneuvered it a little bit um if you guys have any questions uh let us know we were just um you know just kind of messing with things here but you guys can see the lifters there um we're gonna be pulling those out as well um and then we're probably from here we decided that it'd be best to clean the heads put them back with the new valve springs and everything and then once, uh, you know, everything's back, we're going to then, you know, go for the cam. So we're going to actually rebuild this part first um, and then go to the cam. So let's go to our little uh, little parts area, as you guys can tell. So this is kind of how we marked the head bolts. Um, there's like a sequence that you want to take them off in because they're aluminum. You don't want them to warp. Um, so we have driver's side, passenger side, 
Um, and then you can see that's where the front of the car is. So you pretty much know exactly where those go. These are the intake um, and header bolts. Um, again, front of the car, we have them all numbered and everything. So you know pretty much where they go. These are the headers. These were kind of a pain to get off. <laughs> Both fists were in there. Um, intake, you know, just, um, and hopefully we will, uh, you know, start putting some of this stuff back on, but these guys gotta be cleaned. Um, and the new valve springs gotta go in. Those are the old ones. And the new ones are in this box right here. So yeah, these will be going into along with the retainers. Um, so yeah, guys, that's pretty much where we're at now. We're gonna stop for today. Um, we just gotta start cleaning everything. We're gonna double check. Look at the wire mess out here. We gotta double check the tape, make sure nothing's loose. Um, but yeah, that's about it, guys. We'll come back with another update shortly. So since these heads are aluminum, um, I think what I wanna do, um, you wanna clean the surface pretty good. And these plastic tools really aren't cutting it. So I might send these over to like a, mas a machine shop, uh, have them cleaned properly. Uh, because obviously since they're aluminum, um, you don't wanna use like any, any sort of like metal to try to scrape it off because you can damage the head. And if you damage the head, uh, then you get, uh, you know, fluid and stuff leaking into, you know, the engine and stuff. So that's not good. You definitely don't want a head gasket leak. Um, but since the, the block is iron, cast iron, we can use the scraper. So that's the plan. We're going to try to scrape all this old gasket and stuff off um, this side and then the other side, obviously. That's why we got the cylinders covered. And then we're going to hopefully try to find a shop, um, maybe do a competition valve job. I'm not sure, but we're definitely going to look and see if we can find some place to clean off the aluminum heads. But for now, this is gonna be my task today, guys. So we'll see how far we'll get. All right, you guys, so just a quick little update of where we're at. Um, I just dropped the heads off. I had a shop to be cleaned, checked and decked. Um, and that should take, they said, either four days to a week. So we got a couple, uh, a couple days on that. We can still work on stuff here though. As you guys can see, these surfaces are all clean. The cylinders cleaned out, um, the piston head. Um, is a lot cleaner. Um, we're still working on that. And as well, we're gonna try to get out the water pump today, guys. And after we get the water pump out, we can get the harmonic balancer out, which is down there. Um, and then pull the timing chain and get the cam ready to come out. Um, Cause once the heads come back, we're gonna bolt the heads back up, put all new gaskets on. And we're actually gonna uh, lift the motor from the head using the chain. We think that's a pretty good point. Um, and the, the top of the motor, or the, I should say the front of the motor, only has to tilt up like this, just so we can get the cam out. We're gonna have to get the radiator out. Um, like I said, we're jacking the motor just because, um, let me see if I can show you guys this, this little brace right here, the, like part of like the subframe, um, does block the cam from coming out. So we're gonna have to jack it a couple of inches is what we've seen. I, I don't know, I mean, honestly, that might not be the case, but I think it is. Um, I've seen people with like 91s and 90s have to do that. So I don't know why we wouldn't have to do that, but, um, you know, you never know. We could check and maybe the cam will just clear that little brace there and we won't have to pull the motor, but we think we have to raise the motor. Not that big of an issue, just a little bit of an extra step, but that's kind of where we're at, guys. Um, and then hopefully um, by the end of this video, we'll have the motor up. Um, the cam will be sliding out. The new cam will go in. Then I'll end this video. Then it's just a matter of putting this whole mess back together, not forgetting anything, checking all the tape over again. Um, and looking at all the pictures we've taken and putting it all back together and then starting her up, guys. So that's pretty much where we're at. Um, we'll see how far we get today. All right, you guys. So we're back probably three weeks later. That's what's taken this video so long to come out, part two. Um, and it's all pretty much because of these guys right here. These are the aluminum heads. We had them sent out to a shop. They had them for three weeks. Um, cleaned them up, put the new springs, uh, retainers, and all new seals on here. So these bad boys are ready to go in. Um, and just for more progress over here, we got the uh, the water pump off. We got the harmonic balancer, the harmonic balancer pulley and the timing chain and cover. So now, as you guys can see, when we come in here, we got the, uh, there's the camshaft right there sticking out. So we're, we're coming in to get that guys. So basically what our plan is, right? We're gonna bolt the heads back up and coming on over here. We did end up getting up the uh, the engine puller, so we're gonna be using this bad boy. And pretty much, now you guys can see exactly what I was talking about and what people are saying. The cam won't clear this if it comes straight out. Like we measured, it's so close, but it won't clear it. So literally like the smallest elevation will get us to, uh, that cam to come out. 
but we're thinking we're gonna have to move the radiator because it's not gonna give us that much angle. So I'm gonna come back to you guys um, probably once the heads are on and we're lifting the motor and the radiator's gone just so we can kind of speed up this process. Um, and then part three will be the startup. So yeah, guys, let's, let's go ahead and get into that. All right, you guys, today is the day the cam is coming out. The old cam and the new one's coming in. We got the cherry picker hooked up. Um, and we decided that, so we said we initially we're gonna put the heads on first um, and then jack them from like these points with a uh, grade eight hardened bolts. But we have decided that we're just gonna use the, um, the water pump mounts and we got grade eight hardened bolts uh, on each side. And we have this little contraption here um, so basically the cherry picker could not come even enough in the middle. So this is gonna distribute the weight. And we literally, as you guys seen, have to lift the motor maybe an inch. Like we're not lifting the motor, we're just tilting it, maybe an inch. So hopefully when I come back, uh, the old cam will be out, the new cam will be in. Um, so just a quick little update, we decided not to put the heads on, but uh, so we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna get this done. Hopefully it'll work, fingers crossed. I don't see why it wouldn't. All right, y'all, so we got the motor jack. The cam is finally out. Um, the motor's still suspended, but taking a look, look at the difference. Just, that's the stock cam right here. This is the new comp cam 501. She's gonna be going in, so um, just look at it. Just, it looks so much better, guys. I don't know, I'm excited. Hope you guys are excited, but you know, now comes the, uh, the putting back on process. We got some starter assembly. Uh, lube that we're gonna use on these and the lifters. So that's gonna be our plan now. But guys, look, I'm so hyped. It's finally out, y'all. This is sick. All right, you guys, that's gonna end it for part two. Part three, we're gonna be putting this big uh, spaghetti mess back together. Um, just for the rest of today, we're gonna rebolt uh, the motor mounts back up and as well as putting the lifters in so those should all be done by the start of next video just so you guys you know don't miss anything but a uh, successful day for sure big shout out to my buddy for letting me use his uh, cherry picker i don't know if he wants me to say his name or not but i appreciate it um but yeah guys i'm hyped the cam difference the size was crazy i hope you guys are ready we might get a start next video we might not but she's coming along and she's ready to go back together guys um but thank you guys so much for tuning in Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Y'all have been killing it with that recently. We're over like 370 now, which is just unreal. Thank you guys so much. Uh, but hopefully in next video, we might get a startup. I don't know. But uh, we'll see you guys next time. Peace out, y'all.